Uh, so about four months ago, I went on a trip to the Sierra Nevadas uh, with a group of guys, and I really took that trip so I can finally get out and enjoy nature and just enjoy myself, be one with nature, and be at peace. So when we get up there, it's a group of guys. Most of them are like older dads, and then there's like me with my group of friends, like we're the young kids kind of hanging out. And so the first night we're there, the group of dads offers up to the entire group, like, hey, tomorrow we're gonna go on a hike to this backcountry lake. It's gonna be really fun, really tiring. If anyone wants to go, come with us, let us know. And so my friends are like, nah, we're just gonna stay home because the Nintendo Switch like just recently came out. I'm like, we're just gonna stay at the cabin, we're gonna play the Switch. And I was like, nah, screw that. I kinda wanna go enjoy nature, so I'm gonna join them. So the next day we get up like at eight o'clock in the morning, we head out. And I mean, this is here in Nevada, it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, to the left, to the right, everywhere is just green lush forest surrounded by like blue, baby blue sky. And I mean, at one point we're driving and we're going along this river and we go over a bridge and the river passes beneath us, right? And I look to my right and I see the river just cascade in this glorious waterfall. I mean, it's beautiful, it's heaven itself. And so this is already perfect and I'm expecting to roll up to like the trailhead and expect like a little creek with fish hopping out of it and a bear just swatting at the fish <laughs> and John here himself ready to just shake my hand. But finally, like we pull up to the trailhead and it looks like this dingy McDonald's parking lot with some trees attached to it. I'm just disappointed. I'm like, man, this is not what I expected. This is not what I came here for. But whatever. I hop out the car and the dads, right, they're all rolled up in gear. They got their hiking boots strapped on. They got like these big hats to protect them from the sun and like long sleeve shirts for the, for the bugs. And I hop out the car dressed exactly like this. I got my Converse Golf of Floors, cuff jeans, a Brockhampton hoodie, and that's it. I am not ready at all. And I mean, with their gear, right, they have fishing poles and they have backpacks that strap here, 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 everywhere with zippers for snacks. And I pull up with my school backpack, right, and my hydro flask, which is the only thing that has me ready because it has water. And so uh, finally I'm there just chilling with hydro flask in one hand and they said to get a fishing pole in the other. I'm like, okay, this is going to help me none whatsoever. So finally we start the hike and the first quarter mile of the hike was just straight switchbacks, probably gaining about 500 feet. If you don't know what switchbacks are, they're when you want to gain elevation, instead of going straight up, you kind of go zigzagging through the like hills so that you don't gain elevation, or you gain elevation easier, and it sucks so much switchbacks. Like, you think it'd be better than going straight up, but nah, not in my opinion, because you're just going back and forth, gaining elevation, you're tired, but you're not making any progress until you make it to the top. And I mean, at one point, I just want to quit, but I make it to the top, and when I make it to the top, it's a nice even trail, so we're just kind of sauntering along, enjoying the view in nature, and we get to this clearing in this forest, right? And at the clearing, there's a down tree, so I set my stuff down, and I just kind of hop up on the tree, and I'm chilling there, enjoying, talking to the dads, and I look in front of me, and in front of me is this beautiful green emerald lake with the Sierra Nevadas cascading in the background, snow top with the, snow top with snow, obviously. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love and I ask the dad, like, so is this the lake we're gonna be chilling at? Like, nah, this is the lake before the lake. So I'm like, on God, it gets better. I mean, it's beautiful, and I'm like, okay, let's keep going, let's keep doing this hike. And I'm like, have this newfound energy inside of me. And as we keep going for another half mile, it's nice, we're talking, and then the devil himself is on the trail. I mean, the devil himself is there in the form of more switchbacks, gaining about 1,500 feet in elevation in about half a mile. I am dying. I mean, I feel like I'm literally just pulling myself up the trail. I mean, I want to stop, but I'm like the little engine that could. I'm just chugging along, just slow and steady, winning the race. And I finally get on top of the switchbacks, and I look and I see this gorgeous lake in front of me that's shaped like an arrowhead. And it's amazing, and all these shrubbery and like greenery. And the thing about the Sierra Madison and Falls, it's freaking cold. I mean, I'm wearing just this, and it's not keeping me warm at all. So I look to my left, and it's more shade, more trees. I'm like, damn, that's pretty, but that's not going to get me warm. And I look to my right, and I finally see this nice outcrop of rocks looking over the lake in the sun. So I go over there and I start climbing the rocks like I'm a rock climber, but I'm not. <laughs> and so I make it on top and I look over the lake and I see that there's this rock just baking with something that looks like it's a throne made just for me. So I go over and I just pop a squat on the rock and I'm sitting there looking over the beautiful lake and I see the sun, or I feel the sun warming up my face and I feel the rock warming up my ass. And I find <laughs> at peace and at home and I feel this full senseness that I got exactly what I wanted. I was out there and I enjoyed nature. And even though the entire hike out there was kicking my ass, I was finally out there just enjoying nature and getting exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Mm -hmm.